So hey everybody, it is Erin, and I, when I was at the Pinterest conference, I got a chance to go into Lauren Betancourt's watercolor class, and the whole technique situation that we learned was how to do masking, and this is the, what I created when I was there. And so the following videos you are going to see are both me in the classroom creating this at the Pinners conference, and then in between my little videos, Lauren actually sent me the videos of what she showed in class of her technique. So what I watched to create mine, we're going to get to see her do as well. So I will kind of explain and then I'll put a little subtitle at the bottom about how to do all the techniques and some of the other fun things from the artist herself, which is pretty fun. So it's kind of a combo. So just to show you some of the supplies that we are using, we have watercolor paper. So she likes the Strathmore watercolor paper. Um, we also have a Winsor & Newton liquid masking fluid, which is what was in here, or what is still in there, there's still quite a bit. A uh, plastic container for masking, so there's that. There's the paint palette with dried watercolor paints. We also have some round brushes. The brushes are from Creative Inspirations. These are Creative Mark Artist products. And then we have a pencil, and then there is masking tape. She says she likes to put the masking tape on the edge of her watercolors, because when you take it off, it makes a really clean and pretty um, effects. And so that's what I'm kind of pulling off right now. I may have had a little few boo-boos here and there, but that's, you know, some small spots, but overall it makes it look really pretty and kind of gives it a clean edge. So I'm gonna keep working on getting that off. At the very, very end, I also took some pictures of some other people's um, finished project that were sitting around me, so you'll see that too. So it's kind of a shaky video, I'm really sorry, but I will do my best to try and um, make it as smooth as possible. And you'll also see Lauren's work. So, so I am in the watercolor class for, by Lauren. Um, she is up there. She's doing her little spiel right now. I'm going in with my watercolor paper and we're doing the masking technique. And you can use a pencil to kind of sketch out exactly what the design is you want on your paper. She did these little hump things, these kind of fun decorative fans. She said anything that you want to kind of go on there, uh, if you know calligraphy or anything along those, I'm going to go for these kind of square-like <laughs> figures and having some fun with that. Everybody's doing something different here. you have the pencil is where you want to make sure that you cover it up with the masking fluid because if you do not cover it up with the masking fluid it's going to get left behind and you can't erase under the watercolor but once we take the masking off we can erase all the pencil marks so just make sure to cover up every single little pencil mark as you're going along and then keep dipping after about every four about ten strokes or so making sure you go in and I'm just right now making sure I go in and cover up all of my pencil marks. So just go in and with soapy water, brush, rinse your brush just like this. Soapy water, and over off to the side. You can't see it. I have fresh water, and then wipe your brush off, and then go back in and start masking again. Simple as that. And then I'm just going to go all the way down here, continue to cover up my pencil marks with my masking.
tell when it's starting to dry up if it gets darker versus lighter. And so I went through and I did all my boxes first. And then I kind of went back in and did all of the little kind of fun lines. I didn't want to do every single box, but it's kind of had some fun with it. So now I gotta let it dry and then we'll move on to the next one. with my big flat brush and getting a bunch of water and pulling in some color from here. So that one is color, blending it up, and then kind of going in in a section right here and just kind of giving it a wash. Add some more water to it and then just kind of blending. And that's all I've been doing, going all the way through. And you can see where it's resisting really well. And so here is my, I went from green into the blues. So just kind of did that greeny blue wash right here. And let that dry and then we can pull the masking off. And then remove the mask and she says your fingers works great and all you're going to do is you just kind of pull and see it just kind of pulls off and you just said your finger is your best tool here that's all you really need to use is your finger and then you go back and you erase all your little pencil marks i'm going to keep pulling all this off and see what it looks like 